Hi, Susan here. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the gathering foot or the shearing foot or the ruffle foot on an industrial sewing machine, in this case my Juki, with my special trick and that's what's next. So quickly before I get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Susan Elias and I teach everything about fashion design on my channel. I'm hoping you're going to love this video and subscribe and like and share it. I've done some previous videos already on my Juki DDL 8700 lock stitch straight stitch industrial machine. And I said at that time I was going to show you the different feet. I've already done some on the rolling foot, but I finally got my old fashioned rolling foot um, in that I ordered on Amazon and I want to possibly do a video on that. Let me know in the comments if you do want that. I will link the other two videos, the one on the machine and the unboxing and threading, as well as the roller hem foot video. So today we're going to talk all about the gathering foot. Let me show you that on machine now. Okay, so the first step is that you want the machine off. This has an, this industrial machine has a servo motor. When I turn on the machine, you don't hear anything and the light is on only, but you could accidentally sew your finger if you step on the pedal. So make sure that the light that your machine is off before you get started. All right, and you have good lighting. So now we're going to take off this regular foot that is on the machine itself. And I'm actually lift, using the knee pedal to lift the foot up the foot up and I'm going to take it out with my screwdriver and I'm going to be going this direction to take off that foot. Now this is the gathering foot. If you can see it has a groove here, it has a hole. If you're lucky it'll also have a slit for the thread to go through which is nice. And this is what the gathering foot looks like. I'm going to put that here where the, where the screw shank is. Loosen the screw as much as you need to. Lift it up all the way as far as you can and then tighten the screw. Okay, there it is, it's tightened. I'm using red thread so you can see what's going on. So, all right. So here is the stitch length. And that is really important to this particular foot. The smaller the stitch, one, two, or three, the least amount of gathering you're going to get in the final results. So you always want to go at least to four or five on your industrial machine. This is your tension on your industrial machine. I know in home sewing machines they say that if you tighten the tension it will affect it. It doesn't do a whole lot of that when you're on your industrial machine. So we're sort of set here. I already have the threaded bobbin and the top thread and the bottom thread in, in red so you can see. I'm going to start with my muslin and I'm going to show you first what it looks like with a, with a stitch length 3. I'm just going to place it underneath like this. I want to make sure you're on fabric and I'm just going to start it now and let it do its thing. And it's just barely gathering, right? It's just gathering very, very little. I'm going to now move it to four. It's gathering more and more, as you can see. And then here's five. And you can see that it's gathering even more at five. So five is showing quite a bit, right? Quite a bit more. Here's five, four, and then here is three. Okay, 
Let me show you now the amount of gathers it does and my special trick. Okay, I have sheer fabric here. This is a sheer applique lace. And most of the time you're gonna be wanting to do this process on sheer fabric, whether it's organza or lace or uh, organdy or even tulle. This is a very popular thing to do. But I want you to know first how much it gathers. Normally the feet, even at a, side, at a five, will only gather two times the amount of the original length. So my original length here, let's measure before I get started, is, is 45 inches. So let's see what happens when I gather it. And I'm gonna now show you my special trick. I'm just going to lift the foot with my foot pedal. I'm going to put this on fabric, whether you're gonna do a half an inch seam allowance or three quarters or an inch, it really doesn't matter. Just follow one of the guides you have there and then get started. I then put one finger here and I put my third finger in the back and I'm going to just hold it back there as I'm gathering. I'm gonna to try to ten tension a little bit tighter, okay. And I'm going to just hold it here. So that way I'm, I'm getting the machine to do the maximum amount of gathers that it'll do. Just keep doing that. Just move your fingers. So my is to hold the gathers from the back. You're allowing the stitching to maximize that gathering stitch. Go all the way down. I'm guiding it with my right hand and I'm holding it back with my left hand. All right, let's see what it what it will do. I'm going to cut the thread and now I'm going to measure what I have now. From here to the end I have about 21 inches, so it basically did do two times the amount of gathers. So that is all that it usually can do. Here is my trick number two in the industry working with tool and, and gathers. I, you can then take the same gathering that you have here, go over it one more time and watch this. I'm gonna start there again. I'm going to go as close as I can to the stitch that it was there already and I'm going to do the same thing on top of what is already gathered. Alright, and I'm holding it in the back as well as the front. I'm guiding it in the front to make sure that I'm on that line as best as I can. And I'm still pushing the excess fabric in the back like that. And continue. Shh, don't tell anybody, this is my trick. Look at that guy, so then I have it gathered even more. So now, what do I have? I have it down to 14 inches, almost half again. So if you want gathers that is two times or three times the amount, rather than the standard two times, which is the maximum this foot usually does, then do my little tricks, hold it in the back, do it over and over again gently, and you will have the best gathering you can possibly want. All right guys, so I shared with you my two special tricks. This is commercial sewing and designing. This is what we do in the industry when we want to achieve a specific amount of gathers for a lace skirt or even a tool underskirt or whatever you want to gather. So those two tricks are mine, share it, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.